Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you had a great weekend and you're ready for a new week. The weather here has been warmer these last few days, so I'm enjoying my spot on our little balcony. Um, I was in the library the other day and I told you that I wanted to introduce one new book every week. Oh, it's so hard to decide when I get there, so I have to set a time limit for myself and only give myself a certain amount of time to look for books. But as I was checking these books out, the librarian was like, oh, that's a good book. Oh, that's a good book. Oh, that's a good book. So I think I found a couple good ones. So it was hard again for me to choose which one to share today. But I have chosen a book called The Snatch a Book by Helen Doherty. I think it's her name. And it looks like this. And this little creature here is called a Snatch a Book. And in this story, it shows all the animals reading stories at nighttime with their parents and sorry the bus just drove by as they're reading their books a snatch book flew into town in every house in every bed a bedtime book was being read it says and the snatch book is on the tree listening so it shows the different books that the kids are reading and then it says Eliza Brown at number three was reading quite contentedly. Her curtains opened just a chink. She barely had a chance to blink. Her storybook just disappeared. Eliza found that very weird. And then it shows how the snatch a book takes the books from the owls and the squirrels. And then night after night, this is happening and the animals are wondering what's going on. So they gather together to talk about what's going on. They do, and as they're talking, Eliza Brown, the first character that we spoke about who lost her book, thinks that she can solve the mystery. People are thinking that there are thieves coming into their house and stealing their books, but Eliza decides she's going to figure out what's going on. So she gets a pile of books and puts them in her room and she waits and waits and waits and of course she falls asleep but then suddenly she hears a noise it sounds like a flap of wings is it a bat is it a bird and she calls out and says uh, what kind of monster can it be she thought you don't scare me and then she says stop stealing all our books right now just give them back i don't care how and then the little creature comes and says, I'm sorry, I really am, I had no choice. And Eliza says, so who are you and what's your name? And the creature says, I'm just a little snatch a book. And Eliza says, but you just can't come and take our books, that's not fair. And the little creature starts to cry and he says, I know it's wrong, but can't you see? I've got no one to read to me. And so Eliza and the snatch a book come to an agreement that the snatch a book will return all the books he's taken and then he can come and listen to people read stories at nighttime. So I hope as you're reading your book tonight or listening to a story that the snatch a book doesn't come and take it away from you, but maybe just listens quietly while someone reads it for you. I hope you have a great week and I will see you again next week with a brand new book to share. Bye bye.